In this lesson, we will focus on what to do when you first launch Rebel. After logging into Rebel and choosing your preferred language, there will be a prompt to choose the type of drawing tablet you're using. If you're using a Wacom tablet, choose WinTab. If you're using another brand, choose the appropriate option. You can always change this later in the preferences under Tablet. You'll need to restart Rebel for this to take effect. You may also be presented with a tutorial screen that shows the basic layout of Rebel's interface. If you're using multiple displays, the tutorial may be on a different display than Rebel. Rebel may even be on the wrong display. You can drag windows around to place them wherever they are appropriate. On the first launch, a new canvas is created for you to paint on, but normally each time you launch Rebel, a new artwork window appears. This is how you create a canvas to make art on. You can find this under File New. Keep in mind, when I refer to the canvas, I'm not just talking about a traditional artist canvas. You can create digital art on any surface, including paper, wood, stone, or any other substrate. In digital art terms, the document you're working on is simply called the canvas. Let's start by looking at the canvas dimensions. This defines how large and what shape the canvas will be. There are a few key settings to consider when creating a new canvas. The width and height determine the size of the canvas, and the resolution determines the clarity and quality of the image. Currently, the unit of measurement is set to centimeters, but you can also choose inches or pixels. If you're planning to print your artwork, inches is the most common choice. On the other hand, if you're creating artwork for the web, pixels is the better option. For now, let's switch the unit of measurement to inches. It's important to choose a canvas size that matches standard print and frame sizes, such as 4x6, 8x10, 11x14, and 18x24. This ensures that your artwork fits the paper or canvas you're using for your print. If the size of the image doesn't match your print size, you will either have to crop the artwork or add a border around it. The new artwork window offers several preset canvas sizes to choose from, and you can also create custom preset sizes to use in the future. Using a common print size also has the benefit of maintaining a consistent aspect ratio as you scale the image up or down. For example, if you create a canvas that is 18 inches by 24 inches, you can also scale the print to smaller sizes like 16 by 20, 11 by 14, and 8 by 10 without cropping too much of the image. When deciding on a canvas size, try to consider the largest you might want to print the artwork. That's because reducing the size of the artwork won't affect its quality, but if you try to enlarge it, the image will become blurry and pixelated. For the most part, resizing is a one-way street, though there are some exceptions, like Rebel's fractal resizing, that yield slightly sharper results. Let's choose 10 inches wide by 8 inches tall for this canvas. The next setting, DPI, stands for dots per inch. This is the image resolution setting, and it determines the maximum level of detail in the image. A higher resolution results in finer, more defined features, while a lower resolution will produce a less detailed image. If you zoom in on a high-resolution painting, you'll see more detail than you would in a low-resolution painting. There are some guidelines you can follow to choose an appropriate resolution. If you plan on printing your artwork, 300 pixels per inch is a good standard resolution to use. However, you can adjust the resolution to suit your needs. If you're working in pixels, you don't need to worry about resolution because the image will be displayed based on its pixel dimensions. I'm not going to dive too deep into how resolution affects the width and height of your artwork in this lesson, but I do have a reference video you can watch about that subject if you want to learn more. Another factor to consider when choosing a resolution is file size. Large or high resolution canvases require more processing power from your computer, which can cause Rebel to run slowly. For example, if you create a canvas that is 18 by 24 inches or larger, it might be a good idea to reduce the resolution to 250 or even 150. This is because a larger piece of artwork is typically viewed from a distance, so a lower resolution is sufficient. As a general rule, the larger the print size, the lower the resolution can be. On the other hand, smaller artwork can handle a higher resolution. Keep these points in mind when deciding on a resolution for your project. Let's set the resolution to 300 for this demonstration. Beneath resolution are the orientation buttons. You can use these to swap the width for the height and rotate the canvas orientation. On the right side of the new artwork window, 
you can see the canvas dimensions in pixels, inches, and centimeters. On the lower right side of the new artwork window is an option to change the paper or canvas texture and color. For now, just set it to white simple. Moving down, there is a shortcut to enable the time-lapse recording mode. And the last option in the new artwork window allows you to choose the color profile for the composition. I prefer Adobe RGB, so you can either choose that or leave it at its default. You can use the left side of the new artwork window to open a recent painting. You can clear this list if you like. If you don't like this window appearing every time you launch Rebel, you can disable it with the checkbox at the bottom. If you do this, you'll start with a new canvas based on the last settings you chose. I'll continue to show it for now. Once I click on OK, Rebel will create my 8x10 canvas with the settings I chose. 